Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime. Let's get our hands ready so we can sing along and you can help me welcome all our friends. Here they are. My hands say hello, my hands say hello. Every time I see my friends, my hands say hello. My smile says hello, my smile says hello. Every time I see my friends, my smile says hello. My fingers say hello, my fingers say hello. Every time I see my friends, my fingers say hello. All right, everyone. We also have our hands ready, so let's do something else with them. Let's make a fist. Now we're going to open them, shut them, open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, and put them in our lap. Now, let's creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, way up, high, flutter them down like snowflakes from the sky. Now, we'll open them, shut them, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little clap, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, and put them in our lap. It's cold outside, so I'm going to tell you a story about Sophie and Jack and the lonely snowman. Sophie and Jack had gone to sleep at last night, hoping that it would snow. And when they woke up in the morning, they had gotten their wish. There was snow everywhere. The world was white. They ran downstairs. They pulled on their overcoats. They pulled on their snow pants. They put on their hat their scarves, their mittens, and their warmest boots and ran outside in the front yard to play. They decided they would build a snow fort. And then they decided they would build, make lots and lots of snowballs to put inside the snow fort so they could have a snowball fight. And while they were rolling their snowballs, Jack rolled his up a hill. There he goes, way up the hill, and then down the other side. And then he went back up another little hill, all the way up to the other side. And when he was finished, he had a great big snowball ball. Sophie decided she would make a snowball too, but hers was not going to be as big. She went into the near the tree and ran smack dab into the tree. She had to come back out, turn the corner, and go down the other side, and she ran into the other side of the tree. She turned the corner again and ran her snowball all the way to the fence where she stopped. When they were finished, they decided to pile the two snowballs on top of each other, and then they ran to the house and asked mom for a hat a carrot and some lumps of coal. What do you think Sophie and Jack had made? They had made a snowman. Mr. Snowman was so happy to be there. He watched Sophie and Jack as they played in the snow and made snow angels and ran around throwing snowballs at each other all morning long. At lunchtime, mom called them in, they went inside, they had their food, and when they were all finished, they looked out the window into the backyard and saw that a puddle had frozen into a sheet of ice. It was perfect for slipping and sliding. They threw on their hat, mitt, gloves, jacket, and snow pants, and ran out into the backyard. From the front yard, Mr. Snowman, the lonely Mr. Snowman, could hear all the laughing and shouting as the children played in the backyard all afternoon. He was so sad, he felt left out. Great big tears rolled down his cheek and froze into long icicles. After a while, the children looked around and decided that it would be so much more fun if Mr. Snowman could be in the backyard too. How were they going to get him there? They thought and they thought, and they decided that they would take the sled. So Jack got the sled. He went and Sophie helped too. They pulled the sled into the front of the yard and with a great deal of huffing and puffing, they lifted Mr. Snowman onto the sled. 
And there he was, ready to go into the backyard. They pulled him around into the backyard where he was able to watch them all afternoon. And everyone was very pleased that Mr. Snowman wasn't feeling lonely or sad anymore. I'll put Mr. Snowman right here so he can listen to the rest of story time and won't be lonely anymore. One of the things that I notice in the winter time are animal tracks in the snow. And I think that sometimes the animals might come knocking on my door at night. So if you guys have any animals outside your house, maybe they too are creeping to your door at night and knocking. So if you have a piece of, a couple of spoons, or maybe some rhythm sticks, or even your pointer fingers, you can sing this rhyme along, say this rhyme along with me. Pretend it's you're a big old grandfather clock, and you're going tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for an animal to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a rabbit. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for an animal to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a kitty cat. Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for an animal to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a duck! Quack, quack, quack! Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for an animal to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's a deer! Tick tock, tick tock goes the clock, waiting for an animal to knock, knock, knock. My, oh my, it's an eagle. Now, what do you think you might see if you stayed up all night and looked out your window? What animals might come knocking at your door? One of the things I love to do in the wintertime is just like Sophie and Jack and make a snowman. Let's say a rhyme about that very thing. Snow, snow, see the snow falling to the ground. Pick it up and pack it tight, a snowball nice and round. Roll, roll, roll the ball, roll it on the ground. Pick them up and stack them tall, a snowman nice and round. Now that you've got a snowman, he's going to sing a song. I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here is my broom and here is my hat. When it's cold out, I like to play. When it's warm, I melt away. Now, one of the things you absolutely have to have if you want to build a snowman is no. So I've got a rhyme about five little snowflakes. Did you know that there isn't a snowflake that looks like another one? There are no two snowflakes alike. Let's sing a song about five pretty snowflakes. Five pretty snowflakes swirling round my door. Whoosh went the wind and then there were four, four pretty snowflakes swirling round my tree. Whoosh went the wind. And then there were three, three pretty snowflakes swirling round my shoe. Whoosh went the wind. And then there were two, two pretty snowflakes swirling in the sun. Whoosh went the wind. And then there was one, one pretty snowflake having lots of fun, but whoosh went the wind. And then there were none. 
I'm going to tell you one more story, a special story just for you. I brought along today my magic envelope so that we would be able to talk about another way of looking at the snowman. A snowman is a very special thing and he is a very magical creature if you think about it. So I am going to tell you a story with my magic envelope. It's my magic envelope. Now the first thing we need for a snowman is a big snowball for the bottom of the snowman. Let's put that in our magic envelope. There it goes, right in the magic envelope. The second thing you need is a medium-sized snowball for the tummy. Let's put that in the magic envelope. And the last thing we need is a small snowball for the head. Let's put that in the magic envelope. All right. Now, one of the things you absolutely have to have for a snowman is a carrot for the nose. Let's throw that in the magic envelope. All right. Now, the other thing you have to have is a scarf. Let's throw that right into the magic envelope. Now, the other thing that's very important for a snowman is a piece of coal. One, two, for the snowman's eyes. Now, the snowman has to have some buttons, of course. So we need three, one, two, three more pieces of coal into the magic envelope for the snowman's buttons. Now, of course, no snowman at all is complete without arms. So we find some twigs, one arm and two arms into the magic envelope. Of course, I think a snowman looks very jaunty with a top hat. So let's throw in a top hat and doesn't it look very pretty with the holly sprig in the corner? Right it goes, into the magic envelope. Now, of course, we have to give him some mittens. And it's very important that we don't use our very best mittens. So we look in the mitten cabinet and maybe we'll find some mismatched mittens. And I found a red green mitten and a red mitten. All right, in they go. Let's shake it up into the magic envelope. What have we got after all of that? We have a snowman. Isn't he a very jaunty fellow? I hope if you build a snowman, he will be just as jaunty as this fellow. All right, it's time to say goodbye. So let's get our hands back and up in the air and we'll do a set, we'll sing a song like we sang at the beginning, except we're going to say, our hands say goodbye. My hands say goodbye, my hands say goodbye. Every time I leave my friends, my hands say goodbye. My smile says goodbye, my smile says goodbye. Every time I leave my friends, my smile says goodbye. My fingers say goodbye. My fingers say goodbye. Every time I leave my friends, my fingers say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Hope to see you again soon.